Hi guys, Trucker57 here. I am back with another video, and today we are inside American Truck Simulator for another ATS road trip. Today we are in the Western Star 4900 FA, and we will be taking a 34,000 pound digger to um, Plaster and Sons in Carlsbad. We are currently in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. This is the same truck I used in the mod showcase yesterday. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um, um, the only thing I've changed with this truck really is, um, okay, whoops, let's not do that. The only thing I've changed with this truck is the interior light. I didn't like it, it was causing my game to lag, so I got rid of it. Hopefully everything is all good, so. Alright, we need this digger right here. Oh, whoops. We already hit it. <laughs> That's just wonderful. Okay. And I feel like this would be a job where we would use that um, center wheel. So let's go ahead and drop that real quick. There it goes. Really nice. Let's go ahead and back this thing up. Got that um, liftable wheel moving there. If you guys can see that moving. Okay, apparently we missed the couple. Let's try it again. Oh, not so fast. This truck is very zippy, as I mentioned before, and it's, um, yeah. Okay, um, what are we doing here? Come on now. Stop messing around. Ooh, not so fast. Oop, we're caught on it. I still don't see it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I think we got it this time. Yes. Let's go ahead and put those up. All right now, let's go ahead and get in the truck. It's currently 5.40 p.m. in the game. Um, it's like 9 o'clock at night. Um. Let's go ahead and see. If, let's do a tug test. All right, we're good. Let's go ahead and let that off. Let's go. Okay, add is a lot. Let me turn that down real quick. My headphones. All right, let's go ahead and go. I really do like this truck. Um, I think it's a really nice mod. So, and I did fix that lag problem on the interior. So that should help as well. Well, mostly fixed it because sometimes there's still issues, but we should be o we should be okay. And the lights some somehow still make the thing lag. I don't know, but let's go ahead and go. Okay, that's the M800 there. Hello, I'm just trying to get. On the on my on the road here. There we go. All right, so got a red light up ahead. Right in the eye. Let me move my wires. There we go. Alright, so I hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, I did, um, just staying at home, doing stuff, grocery shopping, all this, all this stuff around the house, relaxing, watching YouTube, you know, the, 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 the fun stuff. Just say it that way. Right, let's go ahead and get up this way. Um, yeah, just just hanging out at home, really, and doing other stuff, so, yeah, it's been a nice weekend for me, um, I've needed a break from school, school's just had me tired, it really, it really is tiring, so, but, yep, tomorrow's Monday, and we get to go back to school and work and all that good stuff, so, right, let's go ahead and get on this highway here. There's nobody coming. Let's go. The non-legit 
they're not legit um on ramps and ATS. I know. They, they I, I hope they fix that problem um, when they when they rescale the map because they're still working on that. So I hope they fix the on ramp problem because that's just getting to be an issue. It's just it's not fun. Let's go ahead and start a cruise here in a minute. Let's go ahead and start it. 75 flat. Oh, wow, we are flying. All right, let's go ahead and get over. These guys are slowing down. Come on, dudes. Come on. Come on, UPS truck. If you're going to be in the passing lane, you need to be doing the speed limit. All right, truck didn't like that. There we go. Okay, yeah, he's moving. I said that, and now he's flying. All right, up truck. You're doing good. <laughs> I want to get over now. No, I'm not. Because there's a merge up ahead. Uh, turn. I took that at 40 miles an hour. I had to turn, though. So you you, you want to go slow for turns. Because I have flipped trucks before. Trust me, I have. Nice speedboat passing us. Right. So we're out here in the deserty countryside. I guess. Um. Ooh. Let's, let's turn here. Let's get up and over that hill there. Let's go. There's Bushnell Farms in the back, in the background there. Yeah, this truck is just. Oh my goodness, this truck is just a really nice truck mod overall. I I just have to say that it's just a really nice truck. So. All right. So. You guys are wondering why I'm so quiet. Well, I, I got stuff to say. I'm just being quiet for the first bit. Uh, you know, in case something happens. All right, so I got some stuff to talk about. Well, sort of. All right, let's go. So we got on the freeway. And I'll tell you guys. Alright, so, um, let's look at that real quick. But the really laggy interior, so I don't know why it lags. I should get rid of my other truck mod, but, um, anywho, yeah, um, what's that helicopter doing? Oi, what you doing, bro? Okay. Um, yeah, anywho. Let's go ahead and stay in the right lane. Um, my dad's car has an issue, and we already know what it is and everything. Um, he has a water pump issue. So that's always fun to deal with, so. Um. Yeah, we, we, we heard, um, clunking noises. Um, well, not necessarily clunking noises, but, um. The car wasn't sounding good. It was like raspy and whatnot. It just didn't sound good. So we we had a friend of ours who's a mechanic for a living um, look at it. Who's actually he's also my bus driver. <laughs> so hold on, let me do that legit. To my bus driver. Um, two honks to my bus driver there. Um, he, he looked at it and, um, yeah, he, he said that it was, it, it was probably the air conditioner compressor, um, so he sent us over to another guy, a friend, another friend of ours who we know and who, who was also a mechanic around here, um, and he, he, he took a look at it and he said it's the water pump, so, we, we now know for sure it's the water pump. We're going to replace it soon. 
Oh, uh, but yeah, it's a little expensive. It's um, it's not fun. It's not fun stuff to deal with. So, yeah, <laughs> that's just fun. So we have to drive his car as little as possible. Hopefully it'll hold together because if it doesn't, we're in trouble. You know, if this car doesn't hold together and if it stops working, we're in trouble. Because we're gonna fix it soon, later, like um, at the end of next week, next weekend. Um, but we're, we're just hoping it, it can it can still work until then. So, yeah, we're really pushing it. And why, why are these people so slow? I don't get it. These people are so slow. There's 55 of them but now because we are in California. Um, so that's what's going on with my dad's car. And then my mom's car, we gotta get the oil changed up um, in it. So that, that, that should be done tomorrow, I think. But yeah, she, she had a light go on and her car was freaking out the other day and on her way to work. And and here it is, it's just the uh, oil, oil needs filling, so, yeah. Bunch of stuff happening with my parents' cars, I know. Um, yeah, what a thing to be talking about when you're driving a truck in America Truck Sim. What a thing to be talking about. Car failures, man. <laughs> Alright, so... That's it. And then this weekend, um, there's a bunch of other stuff that happened. Um, Five Minutes of Freddy's Sister Location came out. I'm going to go into interview because I cannot hear myself think <laughs> outside. Yeah, FNAF Sister Location came out over the weekend. I'm pretty sure because everybody just started doing videos on it yesterday, which was Saturday. Um, I, 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 I think it's good. I mean, it's very confusing, like... What is this place for? Why is there this, you know, why are these weird control rooms with vent shafts they have to crawl through to work on stuff? And why are you zapping these animatronics? You're just making them mad, you know? And it's just, it's very confusing, but yet very cool at the same time. And very freaky. Um, I've seen some some of the jump scares. Uh, I've seen the Circus Baby jump scare. <laughs> Ugh. Um, the Funtime Foxy jump scare a couple times. Um, the Bonnie hand puppet jump scare. I don't know why I'm talking about this. It's nighttime. In the, in the game and in real life. Um, I've also seen the Ballora jump scare as well. Um, it, it, they're a little freaky. I don't know why when the, that, those jump scares happen that their faces like open up like the, um, the, pan the face panels like open up. It's weird and I, I don't get it but um, yeah it's freaky. It's not too bad, but holy crap, that is loud. But, um, yeah. I, I, I don't know if I'm going to be playing it. I, I, I honestly don't know. Maybe. Well, maybe. I don't know yet. We'll see. Because I haven't done any FNAF before. I mean, I, 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 I know what it is. I've seen friends play it. I mean, I've partially played it myself, you could say, but, um. Yeah, um, I don't know about it, but it seems like, it seems like something, it's, it's interesting to watch, like, you're just like, so creepy when you're watching, and then as soon as you're done watching, it's like, you're just like, I want more, well, they, they want us to pull into this way station, but as soon as, soon as you're done with the video, you're just like, that was creepy, but cool, and I want more, you know, so, oh my god, that is loud. Right, we're just crawling. Don't you worry about us. For some reason our headlights just turned on. I don't know what that was for. I did not I'm not touching anything. Let's go ahead and pull in here. And park and brake, neutral. 69,185 pounds, thank you. Have a nice day.
let's go. I really like the horn on this truck. I, I really do. I don't know why. But I just do. Right. Let's get over. Quick. All right. Nice. Oh, we had our flashers on. Whoops. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to give any spoilers about it. I just get, uh, in fact, what I just gave might have been spoilers, but hopefully they weren't what I was just saying about Sister Location, FNAF Sister Location. But I don't know what it's about, and, um, it's, like, what's the story behind it? I mean, it's after the closing of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, Pizzeria, excuse me, <laughs> um, it's after that unfortunate closing, quote, um, the quote, unfortunate closing, unquote. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. But what I do know is that we are 67 miles away from our destination. That's nice. Uh, we're getting the lag central up in here, but, um, yeah. Well, sh we should be there soon. Look at all those cars, man. Oh! Whoops, we just knocked that stuff over. Don't worry about that. Couldn't find my gear there, jeez. Go. Set it at 30. Look at that CVPI up there. If any of you who don't know what CVPI means, it means Crown Vic Police Interceptor. I found that out myself. I was like, what does that mean? And I was like, wait a minute, Crown Vic. And another police interceptor. Crown Vic Police Interceptor? Yeah, that fits, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, just, so yeah. Right. We can go forward a little bit. So another exciting thing that's going to be happening soon is that um, for Canaan Country's Priceless the Movie, um, if any of you guys don't know what that is, for Canaan Country the band, the Christian singer band, they've been working on a movie project for a couple years, Priceless the Movie, and um, it's finally coming out. Um, oh my God, it's coming out October the fifteenth. Um, I think, I think it's a cool movie. If you guys don't know what it is, just you know, search it on YouTube. You'll find it. Priceless, the movie trailer. It's, it's, it, I think it's a cool movie. Um, nothing too fancy, but, um, yeah, I think it should be worth watching, I think. So, I hope I can see it. I hope, I hope I'll get to see it. I'm sorry! Okay? Calm down. I just made the widest turn. Okay. I hit. I almost hit the telephone pole. Come on now. That's just crap. Wow. So we're heading through San Diego right now. Uh, funny. I was just talking to my dad earlier about um. We might be going on a trip, a vacation to San Diego next year. <laughs> Funny we're going through that in the game, wow. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, we're heading through San Diego. We got about 60 miles to go. So we should get there soon. I can't even see the traffic light. It's
Oh wow, we're in eleventh. We're in eleventh gear. Now we're in fourth. That's it's a little better. All right, just cruising through San Diego, apparently. Oh, another red light. What's with all these red lights today? It's like, geez. And I think it's time to take our thumbnail. <laughs> just randomly. Yeah, I think it's about time to take our thumbnail. If the game doesn't crash, thank you very much. Yeah, I really think it's time to take a thumbnail because, I mean, you gotta have a cool thumbnail. Oh, yes. Yes. That's perfect. Just take a couple screenshots, please. It's freeze thingy with Steam. There we go. Take three of them. I mean, why not? Alright. Come on, traffic light, waiting on ya. So I think that's pretty much all I had to say. Go, dude. Jeez. Seriously. Come on now, seriously. Alright. Another red light. How many red lights? Wow. How many red lights are there? Yep. So guys, this, <laughs> this road trip is pretty much all about red lights and um, broken cars. What do you know? Red lights and broken cars, jeez. Right, we should get up to the 30 limit. Cause we can, we want to. Thirty limit still. Fifty five limit, let's rip. Rip. Let's go, let's go. Oh, it's 55, whoops. I'm just letting it rip there. Look at this. Oceanside view much. Just, wow. Look at this. We're litter, that's litter, the water literally goes up to the parking area here. How cool is that? Wow. That's just amazing. Oh, tight turns. All right, we can see the flag finally. Finally, all right, let's go. They're so close. Central. It's got to load a bunch of stuff in for the cab, I think. I should probably not do that because I probably woke up everybody in the neighborhood. City limit, Carl's bad. Oh! Leg, leg spike there. Alright, here we are. We are we'll be pulling into Plaster and Sons. 
momentarily. Alright. Here we are. Plaster and Sons building. Site. Oh! They literally want us to park it right here. I was thinking a little more sophisticated. Excuse me. Um, I was thinking a little more sophisticated, but yeah, this will do. I'll make the job easier. Just pull it right in. Alright. Look at that. Let's go ahead and lift up our center wheel there. There it goes up nice and dandy. All right, let's go ahead and detach and see what we got. I love that electric sound for the trailer. If we are unlocking when we got good work. We might, I think we might have damaged the trailer. Whoops. I didn't know that was coming. <laughs> So we got 367 miles, 7 hours, 39 minutes, 89.5 gallons of fuel consumed, $8,744 and 401 experience. Nice. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up, guys, for this American Truck Simulator road trip. If you enjoyed this road trip and would like to see more road trips and American Truck Simulator on the channel, please hit the like button. It really helps me out. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more content made by me. And also, don't forget to comment below what you guys thought about the video. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.